So now that our hammer is done, we want to move on to the anvil, which is right here. So go on to Fusion, right click it, New Component, name it Anvil. Once you've done that, hide everything, then click on P and select the horizontal plane. Then you want to show sketch number one from Hammer. Select the middle line and the dot in the middle of the circle. Then press OK. Then hide sketch number one. You may want to rotate, then go to circle, put it there, and make it 12 millimeters. And then draw another circle, and make this on 27.2. And go to rectangle, put one there, drag it to the left and down, make the horizontal one and the vertical one 81 and press enter then go up here to mirror select your whole square I mean rectangle then use mirror line as this line and press ok once that is done go to sketch dimension select this line and this line and make it four millimeters and press enter and just to tidy up that seems about right so now we go to extrude select this face this face and this face and don't forget the tiny ones and make them 8 and press OK. Once you've done that, you want to hide the body. Oh, wrong one. And then show sketch number 3 from the hammer and click on P again. Select this face, the vertical face, and select this circle over here and press OK. Then show the body from the anvil and just hide the hammer. Then you want to click on circle, click on the center, drag it out and make this one four millimeters and press enter. Then click on finish sketch rotate and then you want to go to extrude select this and then you want to rotate around and click on this face over here and that should cut all the way through and then press ok and once you've done that Go to fill it by pressing F, select this part and make it 5 and press enter and use fill it again for the rest Actually other than these 4 over here Make the rest one and press enter and for the other four earlier make them two and press ok and check that everything is done it looks good now show hammer number one show the body And you want to activate this. It looks like it will fit perfectly. Check down here too. Looks great. 
So now you go up here, save your work. Cherry Pitter. Press save. And then you want to right click on Hammer. Save as STL. Make sure refinement is high. Press OK. Save it on your desktop as Hammer. And then same for the Anvil. Oh, wrong one. Save as STL. OK. And save. Now that you're done, you want to make sure that you submit both of the STL file in the Submit and Share section on the course. 